Hey folks, what's up? Main man here, Major Riot, Lucky Lance, leader of Last Best Hope. Certainly not the best player of Team Last Best Hope, but I do what I can when I can. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes life gets you down, sometimes you're real sad. You know, always cheers me up. You want to know what cheers me up? Yeah. <laughs> Opening up a beer. <clears throat> Bush. The stupid ass commercials. You know what I'm talking about. 25 ounce Bush. About as good as it gets. It's actually also still made by Budweiser, Anheuser Busch, of course. But I think I like it more than Budweiser because it's made with corn. It's actually made with corn instead of uh, whatever the else they use. Made in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. It's damn good. I really like Bush beer. It's cheap and good. What else do you need, right? Well, guys, i got a sponsor I want to get to before I open up all these here packs, and I've got a lot. Uh, my sponsor is the same sponsor I've had now for over a few months now, and that's Shiny Cousin Jerry's Beard Oil and Fist Bumps. Right down there in Cumberland, you go out there, you get your beard smelling good. Now, like always, i got to let you guys know he is very eccentric. He is over the top wild, crazy, most of the time in a good way. He also, when you come in there, don't be surprised when he jitterbugs on over to you, dances to you, but do be prepared for that firm handshake that is enough to probably bend steel rods. I mean, it's impressive. I don't know what kind of exercises he does to get his hands so powerful, but my God, uh, we're talking like Super Saiyan... God, Super Saiyan Blue, whatever they call him, Dragon Ball Super, where everything's super blue. You know, he'd, he'd bring Jiren, that gray, buff gray alien, to its knees. Jiren from Justice Force, or whatever he's called, from Universe 11. Anyway, he's got some more. Interesting beard scents and or flavors, however you want to call it. Put these in your beard, get it smelling good. Track those lovely, lovely ladies. And uh, let me get it right on into them. So we got, uh, the first scent is Dad's Friend Who Smokes Pipes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you all know somebody that your dad knows that likes to smoke. And I know I did. And uh, do you always smell kind of weird? You know, they got that weird, smoky, like, moldy smell on them. So, if you enjoy that scent, go ahead and put that in your beard, you know? I mean, that's not a terrible, terrible smell. In fact, I, I kind of like it, really. Second scent is motor oil dipstick. So that's when, you know, you're checking your oil, see if it's high, low, what's going on. You pull it out and you can smell the oil on it. You know, you put that in your beard. So if you enjoy motor oil scent... Uh, you know, heavily used motor oil, because a lot of you guys I know don't change your oil very often, uh, you can put that in your beard, and you know, some girls really like gearheads and stuff, you know, and, and you know, I'll attract a nice woman that's like, if you smell like you work on a car, because your beard smells like a motor oil dipstick, she's going to love you even more. So get on in that, put that in your beard. Third flavor slash scent is Sausage Experiment. I don't know what that means, but sausage is awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love going to McDonald's once in a while and getting a sausage biscuit. You know, you get one at Carl's Jr. or Hardee's, you get that sausage biscuit. You know, that's real good. I know a lot of people, before they voted for Donald Trump, they went on down into Hardee's and got a sausage biscuit before they cast that ballot, pulled the lever. I like to say, I, I thought that was weird because... I've been voting now for over 10 years, and I've never had to pull a fucking lever. I've got, to, I've got to write it down and send it in the mail. That's not pulling a lever. In slot machines, they don't even have pull levers anymore. Once in a while, you'll find a game where it actually has a lever to pull. <laughs> like, it's a retro, you know. It, it, they're like nickel machines, so they're hell expensive, too. So I never even point. 
Alright, so I gotta quit rambling on because I got a lot of shit to open here. Once again, I went down to Walmart, which by the way, Chick-fil-A is officially open in the Walmart parking lot. They actually opened the damn thing. Covington is shut down. I barely got these. I had to like fight my way through like hundreds of cars trying to get to the Chick-fil-A to get to Walmart. Walmart was like dead. There was hardly anyone in it because everybody and their mom is trying to get to Chick-fil-A. They had like seven goddamn cops directing traffic out there. I was like, dude, I don't want you. They're like, you want Chick-fil-A? If you want Chick-fil-A, it's going to be a walk. Get in that line over there. Dri drive your car over there, sir. Get in that line. And I said, no, I don't want Chick-fil-A. I want to buy Yu-Gi-Oh. They're like, what the hell is Yu-Gi-Oh? Is that a drug? And I'm like, no. And they're like, mm. So anyways, I went into Walmart. Got all these packs. Confused more employees. Like they were, they were like, one employee actually stopped me and said, "Sir, this is not the Chick Fil A." I said, "I know that. I'm not here for chicken. I'm here for Yu-Gi-Oh products." And they're like, "What?" So I mean, it, it's just it's devastating the community. I, I'm excited for. I'm gonna let you know right now. I'm really stoked for Chick Fil A. I've only had Chick Fil A three times in my life. Had once in Ohio, and I've had it twice in Bellevue. And you still can't get to the one in Bellevue. I had to wait like an hour to get my food the first time in Bellevue. And that was like six months after that fucker opened. And like another six months went by. And I had like a day off from work or something. And like I can't remember what was going on. But I drove up there. Bellevue is pretty far from where I live. But I wanted some Chick-fil-A. So I drove up there at like 11 in the afternoon on like a Wednesday. And I still had to wait. Like this is like a, over a year since it opened. I still had to wait like a good like damn old, like, at least another hour, you know, it was fucking ridiculous. I just want my chicken, god damn it. So I went to Walmart, got a shit ton of blister packs. I got one blister pack each of, uh, Spirit Warriors, hoping to pull a Magical Musketeer cast bar. And this comes with two packs, but Legendary Duelist. Uh, with Joey on it, and this is the one that has Joey, um, the Amazon support that nobody likes, and Meku Tsunami. So I pulled something nice out of those. Uh, what do I want out of the Legendary Duelist 1? I think it's Red Eyes Baby Dragon. I think that's a really good one. And then, of course, I got the main core sets. Got a whole shit ton of them. I got arr, 18 Code of the Duelist. Hoping to get a Firewall Dragon or a Trickstar Reincarnation. Topologic Bomber Dragon would be nice, too. I like getting that. Put ah, that down there. Uh, whoa, Jesus. <laughs> almost flipped the whole table over. That would have been bad. That beer would have gone everywhere. I've been upset. I didn't get to drink it. And I got 18 packs of Circuit Break, as you all can see here. Uh, I'm really hoping to get a Borlo Dragon. That's the main thing. Oh, or an Evenly Match. That's right, Evenly Match is in this. Get a hold of an evenly matched. That'd be pretty fucking sick. And it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a, a blister pack opening while getting the newest set, Extreme Force. 18 packs of that, which I just arr, just fucked up here trying to get these all. And of course, what you want to get out of this is Saruja Skull Dread or a Heavy Metal Filled Electromite. Uh, see if I can pull one of those, which would be awesome. Awesome possum, as I like to say. I don't know who says that. I guess me. I'm not done yet. Check this out. Found this at Walmart, too. It's the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Box. And it says, one legacy pack guaranteed per box. Now, it says I can get an Invasion of Chaos, Pharaoh's Servant, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler, or Dark Crisis, along with four other booster packs, which they don't even say what those could be. And they say also on the back, look for the randomly inserted Megaton packs. So maybe I got a Megaton, Megaton pack. Uh, hell, I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before, but I'm excited to try and open it. Well, obviously I'm gonna open it. I'm not gonna fail and I'll be able to open it. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in here. Uh, there's no Magician's Force. Here's unfortunate. I, I, out of the six packs, I don't care. All of them are good. Every single one of those is a good pack. You know, they're the old ass packs, so what can go wrong, right? I'm sure they're not first edition. If I pull out a first edition Battle Raider, I'm like, holy fuck. Anyways, guys, 
I gotta get over yonder to open all these up. I always take them out of the packs, the blister parts before, because that would just make the video insane. Long. This is gonna take me like half an hour to open up all these packs. Uh, open them out of the cardboard and stuff. Pull off the security stickers. Some of them have security stickers. So I'll do that off camera. You guys uh, get ready for this. I know I'm ready. How many packs is this? 57 in the blisters, and I've got four more, five more out of that box. So about another 60 something packs I got to open. See what I can get. Hopefully get something good. You know what I'm saying? Get those secrets. That's what we aim for here. I should be able to get. Oh, I'm hoping at least four or five secrets out of this many loose packs. You know, so I'm gonna be hot. So I'm going to be really hot. All right, guys. I will get over there and, get, of course, get to drinking this beer. And everybody, it's a stormy night out. And I'm telling you right now, I'm listening to that, and it's just a brutal downpour out there. If you were an old lady and you walked out in that, you'd probably die just from sheer crushing of, the, uh, of your bones from the torrential rain. All right, guys. Let me get over there. Everybody, make sure you stay safe in these horrific spring storms that bring so much rain. And also make sure that you can enjoy it by getting drunk! Alright, I finally got done. It took me forever opening up all those blister packs. <sighs> but I did it. Here we go. Really hoping to get something good. Walmart's been letting me down lately, but... Maybe things will get better. All right, Spirit Warriors. See what I get here. The Hellcard Howling. I don't know why this card's been reprinted so much. Shin's Advisor, Back to the Wall, and the Weather Thundery Canvas. That is not a Magical Musketeer cast bar. <laughs> just going to point that out. All right, Legendary Duelist 1. We just had Legendary Duelist 2 come out. Those came out fast, like back to back. Uh, hoping for an Ultra Rare here. Amazonas Archer, Red Eyes Fusion, Legendary Fisherman 3, Watt Dragon Cluster, and Mixeroid. You're actually not guaranteed a, a hollow, but that's cool. That's such nice artwork. Water Dragon Cluster. That's supposed to be for Bastion Masawa, I think. All right. Oh. Man, don't want this pile falling over. Legendary Duelist, last pack. Only got two packs of this. See what we got here. They didn't have hardly any of this legendary duelist. They had a, they have a shit ton of um, whatever that other pack is, Spirit Warriors. But they had hardly any of this. In fact, this is the last blister pack of this. Bonding H two O, Ryoko, a legendary ocean, and Bonding D H O. All right, here we go. The main event. Well, kind of. Co the duelist. Can I get a trick star reincarnation or a firewall dragon? That's what I'm looking for. That's what I need. Alright, here we go. The marathon begins. Aristia and Dexia, Launcher Commander, Dangerous, Air Cracking Storm, and right away a Secret Rare. That's how I like things started. Uh, blind Obliteration, sweet name. Nasty trans Transmission Gear, and a, a, a terribly offensive Trumpanda. All right, let's read this. Here we go. Right off the bat, a secret rare. Lumina, Twilight Sworn Shaman. Once per turn, you can banish one Light Sworn monster from your hand or graveyard, then target one of your banished Light Sworn monsters, except Lumina, Twilight Sworn Shaman. Special summon it. Once per turn, if another Light Sworn monster's effect is activated, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. Never played against any Twilight Sworn. Just, I'm still playing against regular Light Sworn once in a while. Passing Glider, Junk Breaker, Vice Typhoon, Mercy Rescue, Trickstar Candia, all right, an Ultra Rare, second pack, nice. Recall. Perry Knights, Treasure Panda, another extremely offensive Trump Panda. I'm terribly sorry that I have to say the word Trump, you people that can't stand him, which is ridiculous. All right, Candina. I know what this monster does pretty good because this is my deck I play. When this card is normal summoned, you can add one Trick Star card from your deck to your hand. Each time your opponent activates a spell or trap card, inflict 200 damage to them immediately after it resolves. Imagine if it got effect with a special summon off reincarnation. Imagine how insane that would be. All right, two for two so far. Come on, tell me I got the legendary amount of 
blister pack. So they're all secrets at Halter. Boogie Trap, Jane Twilight Sworn. So you were passing glider, break off trap hole. Back to the front. Looks like he's grabbing his crotch, getting ready to. <laughs> Maybe he already did, and this guy's kicking him off. See, he's like, he grabbed his crotch, and he's like, get off my nuts. <laughs> Stack Reviver, Twilight Dragon, Gravity Lash. Get your hand off my Heine. Remember that? Nostin Powers. The advertising for Heineken. People started calling Heineken's Heinies. World Legacy Landmark, Zombina, Vendred Revenants, and a Trickster Light Sage. All right, it's another Ultra. Nice. Uh, Goki Suprex. Ultimate Pound, Beckham by the World Chalice, Hackworm, and Crown by the World Chalice. All right, I know what this card does too. This is the deck I play, Trickstar Light Stage. Um, when this card is activated, you can add one Trickstar monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, you can target one set card in your opponent's spell and trap zone. Well, this card is, in on, is on the field. That set card cannot be activated until the end phase, and your opponent must activate during the end phase or else send it to the graveyard. Each time a Trickstar monster you control inflicts battle or effect damage, your opponent inflict 200 damage to him. The burn adds up with that card. We all should know that by now. Really, really good field stuff. Highly undervalued when it was first printed. People were like, what is this? Uh, Arexia and Dexia, Launcher Commander, World Legacy Heart, Lila, Twilight Sworn Enchantress, Goki Rescorpio. We've got the Beckon, Ultimate Pound, Gross, Twilight Twin Dragons. All right. I'm lacking code of the duels so far, but where's that Trickstar Reincarnation? Where's that Firewall Dragon? I think there's only like two big money cards in this one. Zombina, Jane Twice Sworn, Launcher Commander, Trickstar Lycris. Well, I got all of them except Lily Bell right now. Uh, Goki Rescorpio. Broken Ass Orbital Highlander. Ridiculous. Ultimate Pound, Beckoned by the World Chalice. That Orbital Highlander, people had no idea what that was. And then they started getting wrecked by it. Actually, I don't see it anymore. I know it exists. But, I don't know. It seems like everyone's going to the Dinosaur 60 card. Launcher Commander. World Legacy Heart. Vice Typhoon. Goki, the Great Ogre. World Chalice, which is now a super rare, I believe, in, the next, in this current OTS, I should say. OTS 7. Transmission Gear. Another offensive. Trumpanda. Hang on, Mach. These cards are getting popular. Uh, as some sort of disgusting log there. Yeah, FA is uh, one of those decks that as soon as it gets new support announced, everyone goes crazy for it and then it does nothing and then everyone forgets it even exists again. Boogie Trap, Jane, Twilight Sworn General, Speedboard Passing Glider, another Lila, Twilight Sworn Enchantress, World Legacy Discovery, Treasure Panda, another offensive Trump Panda, Three Strikes Barrier, and Trendy Understudy. I guess the United States blew up some shit in Syria again. It's okay. Nobody cares. CNN will go back to talking about how large Stormy Daniels' tits are in a matter of moments. FA Grand Circuit Prix or Circuit Grand Prix, Boogie Trap, Change Twice Horn General, Speedroid Passing Glider, Break Off Trap Hole again. Crap. <laughs> Cross Grab. Gookie, <laughs> Goki Suprex. <laughs> Back in my world chalice, Hackworm and Crown by the World Chalice. All these normal monsters. Ugh, that deck, I don't know. It's either really good or really bad. Whoa, this pack didn't like opening. Like part of it ripped off. Air Cracking Storm, Pulse Mine, Zombina, Jane Twice Horn General, Cracking Dragon. Vendor Town Whore was the sneak peek card for this set. I don't even know what. Flames of Destruction is supposed to be. Have they announced a sneak peek card? I'll have to look into that. I don't remember. I've also got this... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Hold up. Alright, fixed. I also got the mystery box. That'll be fun to open. Alright, Galaxy Worm, World Legacy Landmarks, Zombina, Vendred Revenants, Mrs. Radiant. Still the best of the new Earth, the new attribute ones. They just announced the light and the dark one, which I was really surprised they had the dark one as well as the light. I thought they were actually going to make the next set have the dark as well. 
But cool, I'll take the dark as along with the light and a Ryko Twilight Sworn dog. <laughs> Beckham by the World Child, Hackworm, and Crown by the World Child. That's that's like the fourth or fifth pack those have been together. They're like a mated pair of ducks. Always together. There's a lot of ducks down in Kent. Everywhere I go, like I go to the Fred Meyer in Kent, I go to the movie theater in Kent, I go to an Italian restaurant in Kent, there's ducks. Why there's so many damn ducks? Jane, Twilight Sworn General. She looks pretty cool. Speedway Passing Glider, Junk Breaker, DDD, Wave, High King Caesar, and World Legacy, World Chalice. Gravity Lash, Downforce, Crown by the World Chalice, Samurai Skull, TCG Exclusive, that just isn't that good. Wish it was. Could have helped Vendrids out, but it does nothing for Vendrids. Nothing that can't be done better by Unizombie. Galaxy Worm, World Legacy of Landmark, Zombina, Vendred Revenants, What's this? Punishment Dragon, ultra rare. Motivating Captain, nicest artwork in the set, Revenger to Origin, that's so good looking. That's such a cool looking card. Perry Knights and Treasure Panda. I hope whoever who did the art for this thing got paid a little bit more than normal because that, that took effort, man. Look at how much detail's in that. All right, Punishment Dragon. Been a while since I pulled this thing. Uh, cannot be normal summoner set. Must be special summoned from your hand by possessing four or more banished life swarm monsters with different names. Once per turn, quick effect. You can pay 1,000 life points, shovel in the deck to all cards in the graveyards, and all face up banished cards except life swarm monsters. Once per turn, all, if a, your life swarm monster's effect is activated, send the top four cards of your deck to the graveyard. I don't think it's as good as Judgment Dragon. <laughs> Considering how broken Judgment Dragon was when he came out, look at this, they're all stuck together. Oh my god. Considering how broken damn it, Judgment Dragon was when he came out in Light of Destruction, uh, I mean, that's one of the most broken things I ever saw in my life at that point. There was no way to stop that monster at the time. It's horror, dude. Horror. World Legacy Heart, Jack Wyvern, The Ascended of Thunder, Air Cracking Storm, Cyber's Wizard and Ryko Twilight Sworn Fighter. It's not dog, it's fighter. I thought it was Twilight Sworn Dog. Twilight Twin Dragons, Gravity Lash, FA Downforce. Huh. Alright. They're still all stuck together. You have to hose them down. <laughs> you know when dogs have sex, they get stuck together? Isn't that weird? Don't pull them apart. If you see them, don't pull them apart. I'm just telling you. Galaxy Worm, World Legacy Landmark, Zombina, another playset of Lila, Twilight Sworn Enchantress, and World Legacy, World Chalice. Transmission Gear, another offensive Trumpanda, FA Hang On Mock, and Predaplant Banco Sivigur. Whatever you say that damn thing. Gross. All right, down to the last three packs of uh, Code Odulist. I like it because it's green. Jack Wyvern, in Defense Zone, chosen by the World Chalice Ib. The World Chalice Priestess, Goki Suprex. Oral Highlander, Gravity Lash, Twilight Twin Dragons, Stack Reviver. Well, I've exactly hit my quota, actually. Around me packs I've got so far. Uh, emergency Rescue, Rescue, Destiny Hero Dangerous, Jack Wyvern, Goki Twist Cobra, and World Legacy World Chalice. Getting a lot of that. Smile Universe, FA Downforce, Orbital Highlander, and Gravity Lash. All right. Last pack. So out of 18 packs, you're supposed to get one Ultra Rare for every six packs. So there's three. One Seeker for every 12 packs. And I don't have 24, so hopefully I can get a secret out of this. Or another Ultra. I'll break the uh, the box ratio if that happens. Backup Secretary, Aristia Dexia, Launcher Commander, World Legacy, Heart, and a Goki rematch. I did not break it. Trickstar Lily Bell. There it is. Finally, I got it. There's the Lily Bell. I actually got the Lily Bell. That's a short print rare, I think. Uh, Carrot, Supreme, Rage, love that name, and Beckoned by the World Chalice. Uh, yeah, so I got every single Trickstar card that's in this set. Uh, I don't think there's any in Extreme Force, but there are Trickstar cards in Circuit Break. Um, Circuit Break, hoping for the Boral Load or Evenly Matched. That would be huge if I get either one. God, ah, what a mess. 
Koki Headbat, Burning Bamboo Sword, Crawler Spine, FA Gra Off Road Grand Prix, Vendred Knights. Good card for Vendreds. What's for, what's going on with the stack here? There we go. Personal Spoofing. That is a Altergeist support card. Vendred Stridges, Altergeist Konkuri, Metaphys Factor. Okay, I'm going to see if this pile ever falls over. Come on, Borload. Evenly mashed. Link Infra Flyer. Lyra Lusk Recital Star Starling, whatever. Mermel Bisnere. Crawler Galile. X Crawler Clywork. Metaphys Dimension. What's going on there? It's like dimensional um, prison going on there. Dark Angel. Altergeist Kunkuri. And Stiffer Dragon. Isn't there a magic card also called Kunkuri? Probably. There's probably a magic card called everything. Like They should have a magic card just called Box. Just the Box. They actually do in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just Boxer. Remember that? He's a Boxer made of boxes. What says that from? Primal Origin? Crawler Spine, World Legacy Clash, Link Restart, Crawler Ravener, Metaphys Executor, Metaphys Die Dallas, another Kunguri, Metaphys Factor, Crawler Receptor. I played against Crawler twice now in real life. Once at the locals and once at the Spokane Regional. The one of the locals was like one of the easiest things I've ever beat. That was actually like a real like deck that was put together by a human being. The one in Spokane was still pretty easy, but a lot tougher than the one at locals. Anasis, Rocket Dragon, Duck Dummy, The Accumulator, Crawler Spine, Subterra Behemoth, Behemoth Fiendus, and another personal spoofing. Am I getting one of these in every pack of Kunquiry? World Legacy and Shadow. Damn. Instead of saying a super rare in every pack, just say a Altergeist Kunquiry in each pack. You're guaranteed the Kunquiry. Luna Light Crimson Fox, Stiff Defect Compiler, FA Whip Crosser, Link Bumper, Backup Squad, Royal Legacy and Shadow, Dark Angel, Cyber's Beacon, Muscle Mech. What is that? What in the hell? 2200, level 4, but he's got a negative effect because anytime he does battle damage, your opponent gains life points instead of him uh, taking away life points through battle. Weird. Crawler Spine, Temple of the Mind's Eye, World Legacy Clash, Metaphys Executor, Dragonoid Generator. This is a token maker? I guess. Ah, hold up. Under control. Ojama Duo, Lunalite Kaleido Chick, Remote Rebirth, Sniffer Dragon. Sniff, sniff. Sniff it up. Sniff it up. Remember, lick it up. Lick it up. Lick it up. No, it's only right now. It's a good ass kiss song. It's probably their best song, in my opinion. Roll Legacy Pawns, Goki Headbat, Burning Bamboo Sword, Crawler Spine, Metaphys Nephitus. That's an interesting name. Samurai Story. This is actually a good TCG exclusive. I like this card a lot, actually. Um, where are the altars and secrets here? <laughs> Lang Lang Soldier Dragons, Capacitor Stalker. What are those big scorpions in Fallout? Rad scorpions? I can't. I know there's rad roaches, but what do they call the big scorpions? Probably just big scorpions. Come on, Circuit Break. Where the fuck are the Ultras and Secrets? Moonlight like Crimson Fox, Defect Compiler, FA Whip Crosser, Crawler Galile, Metaphys Executor, Metaverse. This card might become relevant, but I've said that before and I've always been wrong. Ling Ling, Vendor and Stridges, Alter Guys Kunkori. Someone actually played this. I couldn't believe it. This card's absolutely awful, but someone actually played it online. That shows you how bad online play is. Alright. What the fuck's happening? I'm like halfway through and I still haven't gotten an altar of secret. Nimble Beaver, Mermel Bisnary, Link Restart, Vendred Knights, Fire King Avatar. Did someone go through and scale all these? You can't scale these anymore, though. Why? I, I don't know. Capacitor Stalker, Crawler Dendrite, Amazon a Spy. Is that the first spy I've gotten? I think so. Man, Amazon's gotten a lot of support over the years. There's so many Amazon monsters. Like, when you look at support for Amazon, it's like just this huge, huge list. It's like, what in the fuck? Arr, arr, 
trying to get things organized over here. They just pull the muscle. Goki Headbat, Amazon's Pet Liger, Lunalite Crimson Fox, Mistar Boy, number 41, Baguska the Terribly Tired Taper. He's so tired, bro. Look at me pillow. Look at me pillows he's got. He's got two pillows around him, because that's how tired he is. Man. Metaphys Tyrant Dragon. Fendrid Stridges, Crawler Dendrite, and Ling Ling. Remember that show drawn together? Had a little Pikachu monster on there called Ling Ling. And it had uh, Foxy something, had Toots, uh, had like the Legend of Zelda guy on it. That show was awful. Show you how bored I was back in the day watching that shit. Goki Headbat, Nibble Beaver, Marilla Bistnery, another back-to-back, -back, number 41, Baguska the Terribly Tired Taper, and Metaphys Didalis. Ooh, here we go. Spicy Common, the first one of these I've gotten. Amano Owato, True Draco's new best friend, F8 Turbocharger. Uh, let the good times keep on rolling here. Link Infra Flyer, Lyra Lusk reciting, uh, Recital Starling, Mermel Bisnery. Oh, there we go. There's an Ultra Rare. They do exist. It's terrible, but it's an Ultra. Metaphys Dimension. Amazon a Spy, Cyber's Beacon, Ling Ling, Sniffer Dragon. Alright, time to read this. This card's actually, I think, seen some play. I don't know. Arrival, Arrival Rivals. What the hell? Uh, during the battle phase, means that this effect resolves normal summon one monster. You can only activate one Arrival Rivals per turn. That's not that bad of a card, you know. I, like Trickstars could use that. Normal summon a Candina or a Lily Bell that has been dead for a while. Not bad. Not bad. Amazon has Pet Liger, Lunalite Crimson Fox, Mistar Boy, Crawler Ravener, and a broken line. All right, back to back ultras, both terrible. Twin Triangle Dragon, Sniffer Dragon, Crawler Nugros, Crawls Axon. Who goes to a regional? Say, I'm going to play Crawler. Anyways, Broken Line. When a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated in this card's column, while this card is set, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. Not bad. Not bad, I don't think. I mean, it's weak because it has to be in the same column, but other than that, it's a counter, so that's pretty good. Uh, okay. So, I'm back on target if I pull another Ultra here or a Secret. Temple of the Mind's Eye, World Legacy Clash, World Legacy Ponds, Quiet Life, Altergeist. What is this one? Camouflage. Amazon a Spy, Cyber's Beacon, Ling Ling, and Sniffer Dragon. Man, Walmart's been rough lately. Maybe I'll stop doing this shit. It's like, fuck. It used to be great, but not anymore. Alright, World Legacy Pawns, Self Destruct Ant, Crawler, Goliath, Amazon's Pet Liger. Alright, there's a third Ultra. They're all in the back here. Asmacifis. One time passcode. Jesus Christ. FA Turbocharger, FA Pit Stop, Capacitor Stalker. Alright, the field spell for Metaphys. Uh, once per turn, you can banish one Metaphys card from your hand, and if you do, draw one card. Once per turn, if your Metaphys card in the owner's position is banished, apply this effect depending on whose turn it is. Your turn, all monsters on the field lose 500 attack and defense, except Metaphys monsters. Opponent's turn, change the battle position of all monsters on the field, except Metaphys monsters. Kind of neat, I guess. Alright. Alright, can I get a secret rare? I would like one, please. Nimble Beaver, Mermail Abyssinary, Link Restart, Crawler Spine, Gateway Dragon, which is good. Trickstar Narcissus. Okay, I got the Trickstar. Muscle Medic. It says love on his big syringe. Imagine that being stabbed into your ass. Or him being stabbed into your ass. Crawler Receptor, Luna Light Kaleido Chick. Alright, two packs of circuit break left. What do I got here? What is coming here? Link Restart, Crawler Spine, Temple of the Mind's Eye, Metaphys Executor, and One Time Passcode. Amazon is Spy, Cyber's Beacon, Ling Ling, and Sniffer Dragon. All right, last pack of Circuit Break. Can I get a Secret Rare? Come on, Borlo Dragon, evenly matched. A Case of Magician be good too. 
Come on, Amazon's Pet Liger, F8 Whip Crosser, Anastas Rocket Dragon, Duck Dummy, and Alter Geist Protocol. No secret rare out of 18 packs. Personal spoofing. Uh, Sniffer Dragon. Crawler Receptor, X Crawler Neurodogus. All right, here we go. Extreme Force, Saruja Skulldred, or Heavy Metal Foes, Electromite, please. All right. Keep on rocking. Tendangle Intruder, uh, Karate Sphere. I guess this is a TC exclusive. Flame Administrator, Tindal, Tendangle Dulani, Gem Knight, Phantom Quartz, Mythical Bestiomorph. There's actually a lot of good cards in this, but they're all secrets, and I haven't been able to pull a secret. The first pack I got, I had a secret, and I, oops. The first pack I got, I got a secret, and since then, I haven't gotten one. Die, Dan, that's sexual assault there. That's, that's jail time. Is wall an offensive word now? If I say wall, can I get in trouble? I don't know, I gotta be careful. All right, Calm Switch, Walk Kinetic Puppeteer, Secure Gardena, Vendred Battle Lord. Not as good as Shockmaster. Mythical Bestiomorph. Underclock Taker's hella good. Like, probably the best common in a long time. Ghost Trick Renovation. Tenangle Base Gardena. Euler's Circuit. Alright. Extreme Force. I like Extreme Victory more than Extreme Force, name-wise. Showdown of the Secret Sense Scroll Techniques. What a long name. Striping Partner. F.A. Motorhome Transport. Artifact Mojolnir. Alter Guys Hextia, Metal Rocket Dragon, World Legacy World Shared Recovery Dragon, Flick Clown. Why they kept that name, I don't know. Flick Clown looks a lot like Fuck Clown if you go real fast. Walk Kinetic Puppeteer, Munia Maidens, Tendangle Hound, Pendulum Paradox. All right, a secret rare. I got one. I got one, folks. World Legacy Whispers. Mech Knight, Green Horizon, Tendangle, Acute Cerberus, Parthian Shot, oops. All right, let's read about this uh, Pendulum Paradox. Add two face-up pendulum monsters with the same pendulum scale, but different names from your extra deck to your hand. You can only activate one Pendulum Paradox per turn. Here we go. Secret rares do exist. What do you know? It's only been, fuck, over 35 packs. Getting close to 40 since I pulled one. All right, keep going. Artifact Mjolnir, uh, Secure Garna, Mech Knight Orange Sunset, Tendangle Intruder, Zephra Metaltron, which is a meta card, Metal Rocket Dragon, I like the name of that one, DD Seeker, Underclock Taker, and Ghost Trick Renovation. D even DD still getting support. And, of course, Underclock Taker is hella good common. Highly recommend you put that in your extra deck. That is a really, really good monster. Calm Switch. Yokozuna Sumo Spirit, Showdown of the Secret Scroll Techniques, Striping Partner, Altergeist Manifestation. Altergeist is going to be so good in a little bit. Like I play against the OCG deck sometimes, and Altergeist is one I cannot beat with any deck. Metal Rocket Dragon, Underclock Taker, Ghost Trick Renovation, Tenango Base Gardena. Ah. This is actually a workout, open up this many packs in a row. You know, I've opened up an entire case in one sitting. Let me tell you, that gets pretty tiring. Mech Knight Orange Sunset, Calm Switch, Yokozuna Sumo Spirit, Showdown of the Secret Sense, Scroll Techniques, Mythical Beast Medusa, Gross, Ghost Bird Bewitchment. This card is really scary looking. Look at these, like, souls coming at you. Isn't that terrifying? Ghost Bird? Oh my god, it's terrifying. Flick Clown, Tendangle Base Gardena, Link Belt, Wall Dragon. All right, looking like we're halfway through Extreme Four. So far, only one secret rare. Striping Partner, Mahjong Maidens, Bit Rupert, Zombino, Power of the Guardians. This card's actually pretty good in a stun deck. You just equip it, and uh, the monster gains fire attack for each spell counter. And uh, it's pretty good. Uh, put on your Thunder King Ryo. Good luck getting away with that Thunder King Ryo. Mech Knight Red Moon. Mech Knight Green Horizon. Cute service. Oops. Oops. I did it again. I played with your heart. Got lost in the game. Man, you couldn't go anywhere in like 1999 without hearing that song.
just everywhere. It's just Jesus Christ. Nangles Protection, Sinet Refresh, Mech Knight Orange Sunset, Isildil, Two Tales of the Noble Knights, Good Ultra, Best Ultra in the set, Master King Archfiend. I think this is a short print rare. I don't get too many of these. Uh, F.A. Auto Navigator, Boral Cooling, Link Belt, Wall Dragon, and Grappler Angler. All right, let's go ahead and read Two Tales of the Noble Knights. Two Warrior Monsters. This card is linked to summon. You can add one Warrior Monster from your deck to your hand, but for the rest of this turn, you cannot normal summon, set, or special summon monsters that name, nor activate their monster's effects. You can send any number of equipped spell cards with different names from your deck to the graveyard. Special summon one Warrior Monster from your deck whose level equals the number of cards sent to the graveyard. You can only use each effect of Isodel, Two Tails, and Noble Knights once per. This is a good ass card. Uh, many times people have added Blackluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning from deck to hand with that card, and I'm like, oh fuck, I better try to get rid of that monster. That's pretty good being able to search that monster from deck to hand, considering uh, I I think the Blackluster support allows that, but that's the Blackluster Soldier deck, which is pretty rough. Striping Partner, F.A. Motorhome Transport, Artifact Majolnir. Oh, yeah, that's a double secret. Okay, all right, I, I exceeded it. Mech Knight, Purple Nightfall. Nice, that's a good one. Uh, Vector Scale, Archfiend. Don't have a Cyber, should be a Fiend. Link Wall Belt, Tendingle Hound, Tendingle Protector, Scramble Egg. Mech Knight, Purple Nightfall. Psychic Monster. If two or more cards are in the same column, you can special summon this card from your hand in that column. You can only special summon Mech Knight Purple Nightfall once per turn this way. Quick effect. You can target one Mech Knight monster you control. Banish it until the standby phase of your next turn. And if you do, add one Mech Knight monster from your deck to your hand except Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. You only use the effect of Mech Knight Purple Nightfall once per turn. My god, this has its own name a lot. A lot. Cool. Two secret rares. All right. Stream 4 is helping me out. All right, so Cybernet or Circuit Break really let me down because because the two of the Ultras I got from uh, Code the Duelist are nice, both the Trickstar ones. Tangle Hound, Calm Swish, Nagel's Protector, Tendangle Dulane, Overtex Colossalus. I hate this monster. It's such a bane of my existence. Ghost Bird of Bewitching. Man, that's a terrifying card. Gross. This is pretty gross too. F.A. Auto Navigator, Boral Cooling, Link Belt, Wall Dragon. All right, getting down there. Striping partner, Moonia Maidens, Wakanetic Puppeteer. Ooh, Clara and Ruska the Ventral Duel. World Legacy Whispers. Was that the secret rare? No, the sneak peek? No, it wasn't. It was something else. Euler Circuit, Grappler Angle, Ghost Trick Renovation, World Legacy, World Shield. All right, well, this is a little bit of text for me to read. It's very rare there's a car with this much text for me to read. One normal summon set monster cannot be linked to something except during main phase two. So the idea with this, and I've seen people do, is you mind control away one of their monsters that they normal summoned, and then main phase two, you just tribute it away, basically, like gamma seal it, but you have to link it away and just make this. Like, you know I mean? It's pretty rough because it's got zero attack, so hopefully you got another, so hopefully you got another play with that. You can link again. But, uh, you know, it, it is certainly interesting plays I've seen with that card. I don't think it's very good, but hey, whatever. Striping Partner, Mahjong Maiden, Xcode Talker. All right, well, we hit our quota for Ultra Rares now. Clyford Genius, not a bad card. Mech Knight, Green Horizon, World Lazy, World Shield, Recovery Sorcerer, and Flip Clown. Man, that is close to Fuck Clown. All right, the cover monster. Man, I have pulled this so much. If you watch my videos, you know that me and this card are like heart to heart. Uh, two cybers monsters. When this card is link summoned, you choose unused main monster zones equal to the number of monsters currently in the extra monster zones. Those zones cannot be used while this monster is face up on the field. You can only use this effect of Exco Talker once per turn. Monsters card points to gain fire attack. Also, they can be destroyed by card effects. Interesting. What's it say? How many? So most you can steal from your opponents too, because they might have one in theirs and you'll have one in yours. So I guess it's okay. I I, I don't like it. 
Yeah, our car has two Cybers monsters anyway, so fuck that thing. Orange Sun Sentinel Intruder, Striping Partner, Triple Burst Dragon, alright, that's four Ultras. Mech Knight Red Moon. Contact C, Mech Knight Green Horizon, FA Auto Navigator, Recovery Sorcerer. Okay, man, I got a whole shit ton of Mech Knights in that. Got three Mech Knight monsters in that pack. Triple Burst Dragon. This card's not bad, folks. I think it's alright. Uh, once per turn, during the damage step, when a spell trap card or monster effect is activated, quick effect, you can negate the activation. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. During your main phase, except the turn this card was special summoned, you can tribute this card, then target one link monster, one link two or lower monster in your graveyard, special summon, then you can special summon one level four or lower dragon monster from your hand. It's pretty good. I actually really like this monster. Surprising to see more play. I still see people play it once in a great while, but pretty rarely. Alright. How many extreme force? I think I got four left. Yep. Final four. Link Hole, Mech Knight Orange Sunset, Calm Switch, Yokozuna, Sumo Spirit, Altergeist, Manifestation, and Mech Knight Red Moon. Back-to-back -back Red Moon packs. Tendangle Protector, Scramble Egg. Why is this here? Why? Parthian Shot. Okay. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Tendangle Hound, Nagel's Protector, Sinot Refresh. There can only be one. World Legacy Key. So far, I've only gotten there can only be one. I, oh, there can only be one. There can only be one. Parthian Shot. Oops. There can only be one. I'm waiting for that card to see meta. <sighs> ah, give me a second here. I had it. Got an itch. All right, you got an itch. Scratch it. So I always say. All right, second to last pack. Tendangle Delani, Bit Rooper, Trading Places, Tendangle Hound, Zephra Metaltron, and Mythical Beast Bashalik. Tendangle Base Garna, Euler Circuit, Mech Knight Green Horizon. All right, last pack of the meta stuff. Extreme Force, final pack. Can I get a Ceruja? Can I get a Heavy Metal Foes Electromite? Can it be done? Moonia Maidens, Tendangle Angel, Watt Kinetic Puppeteer, F.A. Motorhome Transport, Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse. No, it cannot be. Clyford Genius, DD Seeker, World Legacy World Shield, Lockout Garden. All right, here we go. I've been curious about this. Mystery Power Box. It says here... Uh, it says here... Uh, Four booster packs, one legacy pack, and I might be able to get a randomly inserted mega pack. So let's see if I can do this. I I'm curious what packs they even give me. You know, it doesn't say if they're like recent. I mean, maybe they're just maybe they're just battle packs. You know, how the cubes used to do that. They'd be like four booster packs, and like two of them be like goddamn. Uh, so here we go. I'm not gonna look at them. All right, I got a Blue Eyes White Dragon, nice. I got a Raging Tempest, they're upside down. Raging Tempest, Judgment of the Light, Destiny Soldiers First Edition, nice. And Legacy of the Valiant, okay, well, all right. Okay, obviously that's going last. Um, okay, uh, what order do I want these? Blue Eyes are going last, that's cool. Um, hmm. Raging Tempest be first. Uh, I'll just do this order. This order will be fine. Raging Tempest, give me a. Fuck, I don't know. These are all unlimited. Give me a Zodiac Barrage. Let's do it. Rank of Magic, Cypher Ascension, Sire Tutuban, Shino Bird Power, and Purple Laugh Maker, and True King with the Gasm, the Disaster, Band. Zudiac Ram Ram, Push Purishadol, Cedar Horse Stilts, and Rocket Hand, Rocket Punch. Rest in peace, Marvelous Capcom. Marvelous Capcom Infinite destroyed the series. All right, Judgment of the Light. Uh, give me a Ghost Rare Star Eater. Ah, man, this pack. Is this like European?
Yeah, this is a European one. What the fuck? Euro Judgment of the Light here. Yep, definitely European. Star Saras Sword, Googly Eyes, Drum Dragon, Vertical Landing, Mecha Phantom Beast, Warblower. Remember, you don't get a super rare in each pack. Not until Breakers of Shadow. XYZ Reversal, Bujum Regalia, Spell Recycler. That was cool. A random European insert. All right, can I get a Dark Lord Ixgel? Now, that would be insane to get pull one of them. All right. I wonder why this is randomly in here. You wouldn't think it would be. Destiny Signal, Dark Lord Asmodeus, Abyss Actor, Funky Comedian, Destiny Hero, Malicious. Oh, my fucking God! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, man! A Dark Lord Ixtel? Woo-hoo! Yeah, buddy! That's a nice pull there. Oh, fucking shit! Oh, my God! God. Damn. You can discard this card and one Dark Lord card. Draw two cards. During either player's turn, you can pay 1,000 life points and target one Dark Lord spell or trap card in your graveyard. Apply that target's effect, then shuffle that target into the deck. You can only use each effect of Dark Lord Ixchel once per turn. You only special summon Dark Lord Ixchels once per turn. That's the thing. If you use Morning Star Soul Charge, you can special summon more than one at a time. Wow. What a pull there. Woo. Oh my fucking god. I couldn't believe it. I, I saw it and I was like, no way. I, no way. Like, what are the odds I pulled the Ixtel? Whoops. Alright, Legacy of the Valiant. I want an Evil Swarm Excite on Night. This is another European pack. Yep, another European pack. Alright, come on, Excite on Night. Ultimate Rare number 101 would be good too. Ghost Trick Skeleton, Gorgonic Guardian, Dodo Buster, Paladin of Photon Dragon, Ghost Trick Nekomuzini, Sylvan Blessing, Photon Charge Man, and Starship Spy Plane. All right, out of the classic Legacy Pack, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, you know, I, I there's so many good cards out of this. I'm just gonna roll with it. I mean, I gotta pick one though. Uh, let's go with a uh, hmm. All right, I gotta pick some good. Let's go with um, you know, let's go with Monster Reborn. That card just came back. Come on, Monster Reborn. Nemorico, a childlike creature that controls a sleep fiend to beckon enemies into eternal slumber. Neat. Tripwire Beast. This creature attacks with electromagnetic waves. Fascinating. Basic insect, usually found traveling in swarms. This creature's ideal environment is in the forest. Nice. Oh, I'm a super rare man eater bug. Oh, I want a you know a rare pot of greed band. But yeah, these are the reprint ones. These are the ones that came in uh, Legendary Collection One because they have a rare card in them. I wouldn't get a rare if that had a man if I got a super rare man eater bug. But draw two cards from your deck. I, I think that's what it says, right? Draw two cards from your deck, just making sure draw two cards. Yeah, that says take two cards from your deck, add them to your hand, basically. Draw two cards from your deck. Just really making sure that's what it says. But, yep, draw two cards. All right. Dark King of the Abyss. It said that this king of the netherworld once had the power to rule over the dark. What? Beast fangs. Spike Seedra. Using the spike sprouting from its body, this creature stabs its opponents and floods them with electricity. Wow, that's violent. Trial of Nightmare instead of Trial of Hell. That's how you know it's a reprint set, too. This fiend passes judgment on enemies that are locked into in coffins. What the fuck, man? But sweet, a man-eater bug? Nice. Flip, destroy one monster field, regardless of position. Doesn't target. I, I don't know if the errata targets. I, I don't even know if they have an errata for it. Wow. It's pretty good. Pretty good pulls here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a long one. Sorry, but, you know, that's a lot of packs for me to open. Glad I got all these. Really excited to get all of them. Hope you guys had fun. I know I did. Uh, I worked up a sweat here. It's a lot of work. Um, go ahead, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. 
If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified immediately that I've uploaded some more quality content, uh, go ahead and hit that bell icon. You know, for whom the bell tolls, you'll be notified immediately when I've uploaded something. And if you could leave me a comment saying well, you're my fav your favorite moment from my stupidity opening all this stuff or the best poll I got or a card you really like seeing me talk about, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments. And I'd really appreciate reading that and I'll definitely respond to whatever you got to say. And uh, I hope you guys are having a good time. Uh, spring break just got over for some of you youngsters. Uh, there's no such thing as spring break for me. It's just work, work, work. And I will catch you guys in a few days.